Okay, let's eat, huh? Did you make offering to any Buddha or just like that, huh? <laughs> okay, let's eat, huh? We thank you. All involved in this meal, thank you so much. Did you offer? You thank you all the gods, the Buddhas, and make offering before you eat, okay, huh? Yeah. Just say thank you for everything, including this meal. Otherwise, if with Buddhists, it takes a long time, you know? Like liturgy. You don't have to take Where? Oh, right. I don't know. Oh. I've been there. Beautiful mountain. You know? How you know? Oh. Very beautiful. Almost like Himalaya. Good people. Also, Pine Hut, Colorado people. This morning, when I was inside, mm, the gods told me I have to change my lifestyle a little. Not to work in day and night, day and night like that, then I will kaput. So how do we do so that I don't have to work day and night like that anymore? I don't mind, just my body. You guys still young, you can maybe for a while, but I also don't want you guys to do that forever. Because every time you give me work, I just do it. You know? Mostly I don't care whether or not um, immediate. Because um, I was thinking the quicker I give to you guys, the more you can prepare, the earlier you can prepare. Or in case, especially the one with correction, you know? I want to give you more room more time. But then continue like this, I don't have enough time for the inside work. You know what? Sunday, I eat with you, but when you eat alone, you should not talk. Understand? Mm. Sunday, when I eat, but I'm also working. It's different, okay? When you better eat alone and don't talk. Mm. Because um, clairvoyant doesn't mean liberated. Because we all have different kind of power, yeah? Because um, we, as humans, or even animals, even stones, we all have a lot of power, you know? Magical power, we call that, or maybe just because we're born with all kind of heavenly quality, you understand? We're God, just we forget. So therefore, some people, maybe they have practiced former life, yeah? Somehow they have not forgotten some of their abilities, you know? So they can see the future, huh? Like one of our abilities is seeing everywhere, all direction, omnipresent. It's pity we forget. We eat too much, all kind of thing. We lost many things. So some people mm, uh, can retain the clairvoyant ability, understand? But that doesn't mean they are completely enlightened or they are Buddha. We are all Buddha, just they, they can retain that power for some reason, okay? Or some more power. Nowadays, they still have people, they can make fire out of their hand. Now, in the 21 century, and they can bend spoon like, like I bend noodle. I can bend this, I tell you. <laughs> but they can bend a spoon into that, yeah. And they can burn things when they see it, you know, if they want to. They look at their eyes and things burn. Yeah, nowadays can have that kind of power. Or they can disappear by their own ability or by learning with some master who can do that. Still have, okay? Mm. Not that they learn anything. They just re-learn what they know, what they can. Just that we don't have the time or the opportunity to re-learn all that. Take a lot of time. So, if imagine if a clairvoyant, you know, like um, Dainam Sagu, seeing all that, that's going to happen in 500 years after my life. How would I not want to see that person so unique and so difficult to encounter, you know? So she said, she relinquished all the power, whatever she had, anything just to meet that person. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that, no? Helpless, useless.
Mm. <laughs> but happy, huh? Are you happy? Yes, mm. Mm. Good, good. Good for you. Yeah, I imagine if it's me, huh? I imagine if it's me, I saw all that, no? Oh, I would be very, very longing, no? Thirsty to see that person, right? So rare to find. I'm a rare species, you know that? <laughs> yeah. And danger even. Rare and in danger. <laughs> I think in the future, the law or the government eh, have to make the law to protect rare species, <laughs> like master, you know? <laughs> Not just uh, protect um, flowers and animals, mm, protect rare species, rare being like enlightened master, no? Unfortunately, up to now, we have not tried to protect any master that came to our world. Most of them die so terribly. Sometimes I think about that, I cry alone in my house. I think of Jesus, you know, or other master that I know. We, our planet, our world would have been much better, more advanced, more civilized, more peaceful a long time ago. If we have learned to protect, you know, great masters that came to our planet to help us unconditionally, we did not. That's why it took so long. And now we begin to get better. <clears throat> Even if they die early, die young or, or die very painfully, but they still help us, no? They don't forsake us. Lucky for us. Even if they die young or tragically, whatever they have done, and their presence on the planet still helped at that time. And other master come, you know, like, like different bricks, keep building, building into a beautiful mansion. Yeah. Each of them bringing with them some blessing, yeah? and then slowly we advance until today. Never forget, huh? Never forget to thank them, huh? Okay? Mm. We have many photos of masters, different masters in, uh, in the hall. You saw? If you pass by them, thank them, huh? Okay. Men are supposed to be strong, tough, in order to protect their family, protect their women, their children. In old time, so their DNA keeps developing for that purpose. Hmm? They are the protector, the hard worker, you know, like doing heavy work is for the men. We women, we rule. <laughs> we don't do anything heavy or tough, no. It's their job. No, it's like that. Women normally, in the beginning, is the brain, the brain of the house, the think tank of the society. Slowly, they use their muscle to suppress us. <laughs> So a long time, women hardly rule anywhere. Now they do, yeah? There's one sitting in front of you here. <laughs> Nowadays, we have many women leaders, yeah? yeah? President, prime minister, ministers of different kind, yeah? In many ministries, even in Arab country now, in some very, very conservative country. Hmm? So women becoming more powerful now, no? at least minister. No? Uh, for example, Pakistan, normally also a very conservative country. No? Pakistan or Arabian country, those countries, yeah? some uh, very conservative, where women are almost like zero. Hmm? And then now, we're all rising up, eh? and now women in Arabian country can drive already before. Oh, you go to jail if you drive. Wow, I'm so impressed. 
<laughs> with your power. <laughs> you have lived the world up, man. My God, all of you, so powerful. Hmm? Thank you, La. <laughs> yeah, imagine. I thought we'd never see that. Before, huh? We don't see women anywhere, huh? Even on the street, women cannot go alone, remember? You'll be harassed or looked out upon. Nowadays, women go everywhere, go on top. <laughs> women on top. <laughs> Even being in the government, you know? I'm so glad. An Arab country, go veg, be green now, yeah? <laughs> Openly. His Majesty, Prince, they all advocate for vegetarian, huh? I told you, oh God, it's too really hard, man. Uh, beware. <laughs> I told you the story, I was in Hong Kong, no? A long time ago, I didn't have a lot of disciples. And whomever I initiated, they all follow me everywhere. One time we were in Hong Kong, and I went out to, to eat some Indian food, because I miss Indian food, you know, a long time I didn't have. Uh, so I went out and have some Indian food, very southern, southern hotter, right? Southern Indian cuisine, ah, oh, man, it's hotter than chili. <laughs> hotter than this is small, small devil chili, you know, little, little chili? Hotter than that. I didn't know. They say, you like it hot or mild or no hot? I say, oh, just like the Indian eat. I love Indian food. Just give it all to me. <laughs> mm, they did give it all to me. Well, <laughs> Oh, um, I ate, okay? Uh, and then I came back and said, oh, we have a lot at home. Uh, order some more. And they think it's the same stuff, so they put all the chili they have in the kitchen into the takeaway. No, I came home, but I asked the kitchen, is that the same or mild or no? I said, same like you, same like what you had. You like it, we give it. <laughs> so, okay, okay. I said, thank you then. I went home, I make them line up outside, you know, <laughs> queue, queue now, so come in one by one. Don't say anything, recite the five names, open your mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> and if it's one, one little sign, then you won't ever come with me again. <laughs> Don't say nothing, just open your mouth, I put something in, you close it, you go out, that's it. <laughs> Wow. All of them expected something from Master. I was young and naughty, you know. <laughs> wow. They never forget <laughs> the Hong Kong experience, you know. <laughs> the Indian connection. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, it was so hard. Yeah. Who told them to take me to such a restaurant? So I have to give them so they know what it is, you know. <laughs> it was really hard, everybody just keep quiet and go out scream outside in the yard. <laughs> but still they love it. Mm. I asked some of them, would you like some more? <laughs> if you give, master. <laughs> Just like one of your brother in Costa Rica a long time ago, huh? Uh, Everybody knows him. He's famous huh? because uh, when I first was in Taiwan, I don't have a lot of disciples. Huh? I went to Costa Rica also, lecture, and so I have, have a couple of <laughs> disciples. So he came to a retreat, and because there are not a lot of disciples, so everybody can have some whole apple or whole mango, whole whatever to take with you. Now you have just, this is already lucky if you have any to take home. <laughs> so he took one apple, pineapple. You know pineapple, right? With spikes and <laughs> pinching stuff, everything. He took the whole thing. He took to Costa Rica. He, he wanted to share it, you know, bless food to his family or whomever, I don't know, or put it in the fridge and chew it a little leaf at the time. I don't know. He took the whole pineapple. <laughs> Taiwanese pineapple, very big, like this. Went to airport, Costa Rica custom stopped him. What is that? You're not allowed to take any of this fruit in the country. You know that or not? I don't know. Even don't know, you must throw it away. Cannot, cannot bring it into our country. Give here, I throw it in the garbage for you. No, 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 
no, no, can I eat it? <laughs> the customs. Uh, you, you want to eat all that? Oh, yes, I, I will, I will. And he eat everything. <laughs> right there. <laughs> You know the story. He's still alive, that guy. <laughs> he's still alive, you know, Costa Rica. Maybe, maybe he's old, 60 or something now? Mm. He's probably more than 70. More than 70 already? Yes, he's there. Mm. I don't know, when, when I last saw him, he's still young, looked like before. Yeah, when, when he got initiated, it was, he was like 50 something already. So he should be like 70. 50? Oh, he was 50. 50. Mm. Yeah. Everybody knows this story. You know also, I told you before but without this uh, theatrical expression of passion, <laughs> a reality. <laughs> now he really ate that, all that in front of the custom officer. And there were uh, uh, <laughs> big eyes, big mouth, all watching him. Of the fruit. Yeah, eat everything. Yes. He eat the whole thing. Wow. Because my master blessed food. <laughs> he cannot waste. Oh man. Pineapple. You know pineapple or not? If you don't, look into the internet and you know what, what the guy looked like. <laughs> and can imagine the guy who eats it. <laughs> Understand? And he's not very big though. He's uh, he wasn't big maybe at all. Maybe a hundred, maybe one, one meter fifty-five. Yeah, and then he's skinnier than you. Maybe he looked like this guy. <laughs> Model of success. <laughs> I never imagined you are that crazy. Eating the whole pineapple. Fresh, alive. How can he even swallow? I don't know. Huh? How can you swallow? That... That thing. Can you imagine? No. This is a true story, man. Uh, anybody alive still know about it? Yeah, we, we, we still talk about, about it sometimes. When yeah. we're there, we talk, we talk about him, about it. Story. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we don't know how he feels it because he's fine now. He just bite. Yes. In desperation. Yes. He grow teeth. Yes. Bang. <laughs> Invisibly. Yeah. Come, let me eat you. Let me eat you, or you'll be in the garbage. Eat. <laughs> I have another story. It's a joke, but maybe it's true. Similar, you know, similar to that. There was um, a couple of uh, um, adventure, you know, like some people who has nothing better to do but go into nose into some African tribe and stuff like that. <laughs> and they get excitement out of dangerous situation. So he went to uh, some of the tribe, yeah? And these tribe people want to make barbecue out of them. And then they're begging for mercy, you see? They say, give us some job, do anything, we'll do anything for you, don't, don't kill us, okay? Right, so the, the tribe men, chief said, okay, if you go, if you can swim all the way from here to the other shore of the lake, which is full of crocodiles inside, and come back alive, then, uh, okay, we will uh, spare your life and give you lesser punishment. All right, so <laughs> one, the first guy swam over, deciding the five names, like <laughs> crazy, maybe. And so it's okay, crocodile did not eat him. He went to the other and then came back. So the, uh, the chief of the tribe, Give him a lesser punishment now by putting a, a plum into his nose. <laughs> and he's not supposed to take it out. <laughs> the plum is very big, nose is small. Oh, push in, push in, and the guy was <laughs> suffocating. And the other guy was laughing at him. <laughs> oh, look at you, your nose, oh, <laughs> big plum inside. Oh, oh. Okay, and then the chief tell the second guy, now is your turn, don't laugh too soon. <laughs> so then uh, he swam across and swam back, and also reciting the five names, protection, okay, fine. No crocodiles, it's him. But the chief said, come here, your punishment still, you need to take. So the chief gave him what, you know what? What? 
Chili? <laughs> that would be too good. Chili is small. He tried to push the jackfruit into it. <laughs> no, <sir. laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> How can you have a jackfruit, a big one? <laughs> <laughs> Better than karate, you know. Jackfruit, you know, even if it's small jackfruit, it's still big, you know. Yeah, spiky. You know the jackfruit or not? Yes. Any of you don't know jackfruit? I as a kitchen to bring. <laughs> Hello, kitchen. Shukan <laughs> cat. Try pushing your nose, see if you see can laugh or not. <laughs> there are some smaller jackfruit, you know? But even if small, it's not that small. Yeah, good night. <laughs> this is junk food that you try. <laughs> if you try to put it in your nose, then you won't laugh anymore. <laughs> wow, shang hao shang. In, in, when I was a child. Ah, bu yao le la. Mei you ren bi zi nema da. The spitefulness is even bigger and sharper, you know. If you want to be treated so good or eat a good cake, be a monk, okay? Anybody want to be a monk? <laughs> oh, we can immediately, immediately do that. <laughs> and can eat a cake. Can eat a cake after. <laughs> huh? Yeah? Anybody? Oh, you already... Uh, <laughs> take your head off, then we know. No! <laughs> Must have a change, the clothes. Okay. I say if you want to be a monk, then you can eat, not just uh, shave your head only. <laughs> you know the, the story. The guy said he can whistle and brush teeth at the same time. He said, no, you're kidding, how can you? How can you brush your teeth and whistle at the same time? I said, I didn't say I brush my teeth, I brush my dog's teeth. <laughs> okay, so I have to go now. I must go upstairs now, okay? I have work to do, you know, right? Yeah. Oh, you're very nice. Thank 真的很有愛心族,我每一項都很好吃,每一項都很好吃。多謝哈,菩薩保佑,嗯。<笑>